So I'm starting a new series on popular lies that we're being told that have been holding us back. The first one is one that sounds so right when you hear it the first time and you don't even think to question it. But I really hope that you will. So what's the lie? It's this. If you are the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. You're in the wrong room. You're in the wrong room. If you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. Probably don't want to be the smartest guy in the room either, because what that probably means is you should be in a different room. If you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. Ah, it just sounds right, you know, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not. <gasps> Gasp! And in the next few short minutes, I'm going to explain to you why this is the case, and I'll give you three steps that you need to take immediately to undo the negative effects of accepting it. All right, so let's look at what that statement is trying to do in the first place. It speaks to the idea of putting yourself in a position to learn and benefit from other smarter people. Sounds good, but there are a few problems with this thinking. Firstly, smart people want to be with people that are as smart as them, but in unique and interesting ways. We're smart. We're smart. That's right. Okay. If you want a ticket to the smart people party, you need to be the smartest person in the room in at least one way. Does that make sense? Yes, it does, my friend. So for the past 26 years, I started Missing Link when I was 22. I know, I'm just tired. <laughs> I choose to believe you. I've been in a pretty specialized and niche industry. Presentation. Persuasive human to human communication at scale. Now, in this narrow but important area, from a very young age, I knew that as a simple byproduct of being interested in a field that most people aren't, I was able to be the smartest person in the room when we were discussing that topic. This meant that by the age of 24, I was consulting with CEOs of companies with like 50,000 employees, helping them run their conferences and helping them write and deliver their speeches. I had access to this inner circle of leaders that were shaping the financial future of the country that I live in. Was I ever the smartest person in those rooms generally? Of course not, not by a long shot, not even close. But, and here's the kicker, was I the smartest person in the room about the narrow and critical field of persuasive human-to-human -human communication, which was the raison d'etre of those very meetings? Fuck yes. If I'm not the smartest person in the room in this context, what the hell was I doing in the room in the first place? Good point. In your field, in your niche, you need to always put yourself in the position of being the smartest person in the room. This is why every single day, I work from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. on craft hour. I read or research topics only to do with my area of authority. I read all my competitors' books <laughs> and they don't read mine. That, my friends, is my unfair advantage. And frankly, that's why I get you know, invited to speak and collaborate in some really kick-ass rooms all over the world. Now, the good news is I'm certainly not smarter than you. Only one graduate did worse than me in my final year of high school. He now drives a Ferrari, true story. The guy that did worse than him failed. I just figured out this one thing we've been discussing here early. Look, if you want to be interesting, you need to have a single unique thought about a lot of things and a lot of unique thoughts about a single thing. That single thing becomes your area of authority. I remember my team, Ruben, he's a young yet very talented writer. He also has a great trick. In the very narrow but extremely important niche of video thumbnails, he is always the smartest person in our room. That's why he's there. If he wasn't, outside of learning, which is at times certainly important, he'd have no reason to attend. For the same reason, director Drew, who's editing this video, <laughs> look at this handsome ginger, eh? Yeah, gorgeous. He is the smartest person in the room around his field by a long shot. Every meeting you are in from now on, there should always be and only be people that are the smartest people that you could get into the room on this particular topic, on their particular field. The smartest people are the smartest because they curate smart rooms. The only exception to this is when you're mentoring. So your job is simple. One, decide today the one important to the world thing, and I can't stress this enough, it can't just be important to you, it has to be important to the world. That you want to be the smartest person in the room on. Two, turn that into a lifelong pursuit of learning. And three, get into rooms that need it. Hell yeah! If you wanna hear me talking about my area of authority, then check out this video here. Otherwise, get out there and lead loud.